Iceman was established as a family company back in 1964, uh, basically close to Stuttgart, specialized in the interior parts. We are delivering the high-end vehicles, leather wrapped and uh, artificial leather wrapped parts, dashboard or door panel or floor console in the car. Luckily, it's uh, really a trend in the vehicles that people want to have for their money something uh, with better touch, with better feeling. This Thor's Engineering was established in 2007. At the time, we specialized in just mechanical equipment and since then have grown into the electrical aspect and in installing robotics and non-robotics applications. One of the most important operations in the entire process is uh, the cladding, the pressing of the cover with the substrate. Polypropylene acts like a Teflon uh, pan, you know, nothing sticks to it. They use a non-VOC adhesive now, so it's all water-based, so it, it needs more surface tension for that adhesive to adhere to the part. The flame treatment is what actually adds that surface tension. It increases the dime level. Basically, when we started to do flame treatment, uh, we still could uh, do it manually, um, but it involves uh, inconsistency in the process uh, and it's not without uh, a risk for operator also. It's pretty finicky on not treating or over treating. Once you over treat the part then the glue won't adhere to that as well because it, it melts the part essentially. We were trying to find out a way how we can do the flame treatment in really very well controlled way. The obvious conclusion was that we should try to do it uh, with robots. We started with Eisman in 2012. We were approached just by word of mouth from another customer that we had worked with. He said that he had good experience with FitSource and that they always perform the best way. Well, the first FitStore project was to make the robotic cell for the Corvette and Tesla. Uh, we got four production cells over here, one Tesla and three Corvettes, and uh, the cell is serving all of them. The way our system works is we have four separate cells one has a turntable for up to six smaller parts. That allows them to work on one side while it's treating the back side of it. Or they can have three different cells with the larger instrument panels keyed in. We make sure that operators can't get into that cell or anywhere close to it without the robot shutting down by using ABB safe move and a series of light curtains and scanners. To get really the impression uh, how much do we need to flame treat is uh, just on the Corvette program about 2,400 parts daily. It, it, it wouldn't be possible to do it without robotics. Robot Studio is a simulation software that goes along with ABB Robotics. It is very unique from other robotic systems in that you are able to simulate everything that you need to do for the robotic system before you even go out to the plant. What we really like about it is that we were able to utilize our mechanical team. They would export it out of whatever package they have of CAD software. We import it into Robot Studio and we can work around all of the fixtures programming the points. It's actually a CAD to path software. Everything in today's world is 
here's the project, we need it quickly, how quickly can you deliver it? So before it leaves our facility, we know that it's bulletproof and it's a very quick startup at their facility. You basically can just go and hit the start button and it'll start doing what you need to do. The reason we go back to ABB is they're always quick to work with us. Going back to that fast delivery table, they work with us to see what robots are on the floor, what are available quickly for us to provide a solution. The plane treatment uh, got its importance and it, it won't change, you know. Basically anything what we will have to flame treat, we definitely want to have uh, done with robots because the output of the robot is really incredible. Um, and it's consistent.